Our today's program is devoted to a decoupage, but I offer you to work with skeleton leaves. It's not so usual material for this technique, but using it, we will have unusually beautiful and original things. For example, such jack and plates I think will please you and your friends. Hello, my name is Natasha Fortina, and I'm glad as always to welcome you in our studio. Today I offer the next decoupage lesson. We have already got used that in this technique all consider as the basic materials naturally the decoupage cards, paper three-layer napkins and a rice paper. In general, all paper and from wood it's possible to cut out. But I thought, why not to cut out a decor from the skeleton leaves? They are very interesting in texture, not so fragile and remarkably held up on the same glue as a paper decor. All this approaches us, especially if you can't buy the skeleton leaves, you can go for a walk on autumn garden and for certain will find under the trees the interesting leaves. If to gather them accurately, to separate carefully and iron, you will have the amazing decorative material. And even if you live in a megapolis and haven't got used to gather the city vegetation, being afraid some heavy metals for our purposes will approach such material, as after the further processing it hardly will get to the food. I don't find sense to dispute on what leaves are better, as today I have only the skeleton. We will work with that we have. To begin with, I suggest decorate such glass jug. It's coated with acrylic paints, its background supplement napkin motifs with a drawn bamboo, and the dragonflies cut out from the red skeleton leaves add to it lightness and oriental flavor. It seems to me that by all means it's necessary to try to make something similar, at least you will understand in practice what pleasure is this to work with a natural material. This is even other energy, I tell you. I've prepared for you also such rich plate decorated with the whole leaves in the case if it will be a pity to you to cut this beauty. This work is made in technique of a reverse decoupage on the basis of a glass transparent plate. At the decor we have both the gold gilded foil and painting by contours. In general, we by all accessible means have tried to make this thing elegant and festive. If you don't like a reverse decoupage, but you want to work with the whole leaves and to cut out a little, and on this case I've prepared for you a thing. This plate from black glass becomes an interesting background for such composition from leaves and a dragonfly. In this work the making techniques are interesting. Leaves glue on porcelain glue, the product is sprinkled by the granulated paints and all this magnificence is head treated. All is difficult, interesting and beautiful. So, we begin with our jug. Before you begin the work, it's necessary to anoil the glass surface by alcoholic solution. After this simple operation follows very responsible operation. We need to apply on all product by means of a foam rubber piece the acryl of black color. And we hardly will make with one layer, we will make two with intermediate drying. Then, with the background, we won't have any problems, it will be smooth enough and light proof. We necessarily dry well a black paint, as it represents itself as a ground. Further, we take a one-step crackly varnish and by a brush apply it on our jug and dry well using the hair dryer during 5 minutes. 
Further, we take white acrylic paint and tone it a little by yellow. We deepen it a foam rubber piece, strike off surpluses of a paint from it and apply on our product. Thanks to preliminary applying of crackly varnish and that the paint is applied in the half-dry way, the surface turns out textured, in other words, grains. We dry also this paint layer to pass to the next stage of the work. We take three-layer paper napkins with the bamboo drawn on them and pull out the drawing manually. We separate the top napkin layer from two unnecessary and glue it on the jug by glue for a decoupage using a flat synthetic brush. We take the hair dryer and dry glue. Then there is the most interesting. We need to cut out from the skeleton leaves the wings of our dragonflies, two pairs of big and smaller. For this purpose I took the leaves of red color. I notice that in our variant we glue the leaves, moisten them with glue by a brush from the top. And if you use usual leaves, you should at first glue them from the back side and then to glue and once again from the top to coat with glue. As soon as we've placed and have glued the leaves preparations on our jug, we take a volume counter of black color and will finish our insects. All of us know zoology a little and that the dragonflies consist not only of wings. And after a time, we need only to coat our product with water-based varnish and to begin to use it. By the way, this jug can become a wonderful vase for bamboo runways.
By the way, the lamp or the lampshade decorated by skeleton leaves look very interesting and unusual. This material has one more advantage. This thin open work interweavings of the leaves' veins, the dark counter of which is weaved into a freakish pattern, are so transparent that at all won't prevent the lightening of your house. And to make, for example, a glass shade is absolutely simple. We glue the leaf by porcelain glue and bake the product in a usual oven at the temperature of 130 degrees during 19 minutes. And how to decorate further? I think that your taste and imagination will necessarily prompt a variant. Now, in turn, is our rich plate. The technology of it making is completely not difficult, and even the beginning master with ease will cope with such decor. But we need some materials, but all one after another. As we have the reverse decoupage, we take the glass plate and turn it upside down and begin to work. As always, we unoil by an alcoholic solution the surface, and we can at once glue on it the multicolored skeleton leaves using glue for a decoupage. We dry by the hair dryer and leaving the small edges apply varnish mission on glass and leaves. Varnish mission is glue for gilding foil and it should dry up and become transparent. 40 minutes is quite enough to have a rest and to start to glue the gold gilding foil. We put the gilding foil sheets on the plate. We smooth it by the dense and soft brush, and we brush away not glued pieces. At once, it's possible to take acrylic paint of frayed color and with the foam rubber piece to coat the product into layers with intermediate drying. Thus, we will have the red frame of the plate and accurate back side. We dry and turn over this rich thing face to ourselves. We take multicolored volume counters and, according to our taste, we paint the leaves and the background.
By the way, pay attention that using the skeleton leaves you can make remarkable and functional things. For example, such mug with Japanese hieroglyphs can be quite decorated by such decor. It seems to me it's quite guessed up in Eastern style. The only thing I add, don't forget, if you assume to use any object in life, it's necessary to work with it with special gluing structures which are intended for baked. In any other case, you get simply beautiful thing. Though it's not bad too. It's possible and not to pour it in this mug, and simply to put a bucket as in was. Now, as we have learned both to cut out and glue our leaves, we will make such composition. We take a black glass plate, an oil and by a foam rubber piece we apply the paints on glass, at first yellow color and after a time the green. That decor from leaves won't lost, we support it thus. We dry well the background and cut out from brown leaves the wings of a dragonfly. Then we put on the plate all composition and glue it using the porcelain glue. If you are happy with the result, leave the work somewhere for an hour, that glue will dry up a little in the air. And we need only to decorate our plate with a granulated paint. We take special glue, apply it along the edges of the product and in those places where it would be desirable to have drops. On the sticky surface we pour out a black paint and transparent. Also, don't forget to lay out the body of the dragonfly and to tint a gold paint the wings. We take our thing and put it in the oven and leave there for 19 minutes at the temperature of 130 degrees. Without taking out, we allow to the product to cool down, that it won't crack from temperature difference. And we can use our plate, though I think that hardly fried eggs will look good on it. And sushi or rolls can quite add our composition.
And also, I think that I am bound to tell you what are the skeleton leaves, otherwise the information will be not full. These are the leaves at which the pulp is removed and there were only the veins, in other words, a skeleton. Probably, you have at once a question where to take them. If they are not present in floristic salon, you can make them. For example, there is a method with which help it's possible to transform the yellow autumn leaves in necessary to us. For this purpose, we take fresh, not dry leaves and we cook them in the crot solution during 30-40 minutes. Then we wash out in water and by hands we remove the slippery mess which is formed on leaf after the cooking. As a result, we will have the skeleton which can be put in a bleach and becomes light. There are more methods of making of such leaves. It's possible to dry up the leaves under a press and then to put on a computer rubber rug for a mouse and to wrap on a leaf surface with a rigid brush for clothes. Thus, we can get the skeleton leaf. This is even such way. To boil the leaves in a solution of soda for washing during one and a half hours, to take out the leaf, to spread out on non-woven napkin and to clean off the pulp manually by the back of a knife. The ready skeletons we dry under a press and naturally the bleach. I already spoke about it. Also, we can arrange the painting in house condition. It's enough to boil an onion peel and to fill up the leaves there. And it's possible to diversify in a serious way a color palette and to buy paints on fabric and to boil our leaves in them. We boil nothing and simply we dip in the solutions the leaves. And today we have worked with the ready skeleton leaves and decorated with them here such a remarkable jug with dragonflies, such rich and elegant red plate and the black plate. I hope that you like the offered products and you by all means will try to make something for yourself or for friends. And on it me, Natasha Fokhtina, say goodbye to you to new ideas. Good luck and goodbye.